we're looking at their thoughts about you, Sagittarius, are that you are very much a leader that you're playing it cool, that you have the chess piece, that you're not overly excitable, that you are willing to give to the relationship. You, They do see you and they think of you as a soulmate. So we have Gemini and Virgo energy. We have Taurus energy. We have Aries energy. So your person really is thinking that you are quite a catch. In their heart space, they have a lot of clarity about what they would like to offer you. We see them wanting the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And Sagittarius, you fit the bill for that. Sag, you are ruled by Jupiter, and this, that is a planet of good fortune, but also of being blunt, honest, and forthright. They like that about you. They feel in their heart space that they have a lot of clarity, that they want to make you an offer, and they want to say, basically, honey, I'm home. So they're developing feelings very quickly for you. Um, it looks as though if you've been in this relationship a while, your person is coming into some alignment with how they feel and the actions they would like to take. So that's their heart space. In terms of their intentions, we see this energy towards you that the Two of Cups is another soulmate card of the Minor Arcana. The soulmate energy that they have for you, though, in their intentions is that they want to reconnect with you. They want to grow old with you. They do have some feelings of competition. You know, in terms of intention, they are somewhat ego-driven. So that can cause problems in the relationship. I feel actually, Sagittarius, that that is a problem in the relationship because when we look at your person's actions, we see them wanting to be in control. That devil card is all about, you know, my way or the highway, but it also is a mutual card. So your person feels as though they're stuck somehow in this relationship. They're not actually taking action. Their action decision, at least currently, right now in the energy, is that they want to take small steps without making a big commitment. The death card says that something has to change about this toxic energy for them to actually be able to come into alignment with their intentions because their actions do not match their intentions. Their actions are not matching the rest of the reading, actually. So your feeling about this would be one of what the heck is going on. And it is a very reasonable way to feel about this person. The death, person, the death card also says that they may be going through a transformation where they're working on themselves because this is a, the card of collaboration. They might be seeking some sort of uh, help in terms of control issues. This is also a toxic card, meaning that they could have addictions that get in the way, but that's not going to be for most of you. That's just for a few of you. You know, you'll take it as it resonates and let me know in the comments, of course. But we're going to look, we're going to clarify this because it's kind of a very unusual reading in that, you know, what they think and what they feel and their intentions just are not adding up. So I could see why you would feel a lot of, you know, confusion, really. All right, so let's see what we have here. The Emperor card is how they view you, how they think about you uh, as being very cool, calm, and collected. I do feel as though they may not be taking action because they feel that you're the natural leader in the relationship is how it's coming out to me. The Four of Wands reverse, though, says that you may have... They're interpreting something that you said or did Sag as being not necessarily willing to get married. So they may feel as though marrying you, that's two of cups, that's a marriage card, quote unquote, and the rider weight, bride and groom. Their intention is to grow old with you, but they feel as though you may not want that. They also may feel with this four of wands reversed that there's nowhere they can go with the relationship. So we'll see it as it, as it unfolds here. They want to give to the relationship. Please tell us about that card. Let, well, tell us about that energy. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> the Emperor card means that they want the leadership role in taking stock of this. They also feel as though you're holding back, to be quite honest with you. Because with the chess piece here twice... 
and the inverted four of wands, which is, you know, the card of 1111, that's twin flame. They, this person may see you as their twin flame, but they also see you as a person who only gives to the relationship strategically. That's how they think about you, that you're very careful, that you might parse out, you know, what you give them. You might be very strategic about what you give them. Why do they feel the, they think of you as their soulmate? Why is that? The devil card. Oh, that is a dark side of the soulmate. The devil card is, this is the light side of the soulmate. That's Gemini and Virgo energy. How to communicate, how to solve problems, how to come into union. The devil card is a toxic energy that is often involved in, you know, some of our twin flame connections. I do like mirror souls energy better. Um, twin flame connections can be, you know, I think difficult, you know, to say the very least. All right. So why do they feel that you are there? soulmate why do they feel so restricted by you because you make them happy when they think of you they think of happily ever after but they see you as being unwilling to do that very interesting reading again remember that this is what they think what they feel what they're you know what they're intending and acting on it may not have anything to do with the reality that you're experiencing so but you can tell me in the comments okay so why is the page of coins here so in your person's heart space, they feel that they can't offer you anything. They feel restricted. We see it here twice, their actions and in their heart space. This person feels as though there's nowhere to go with this. They feel as though, you know, they're basically a puppet on the string that you have control. All right. So Sagittarius, that's not really your nature, I wouldn't say. I feel as though this person has things to work through. What is the Ace of Swords and why is it here? Please tell us, Spirit. They need to give up on the burdens that they carry. They need to start a new cycle. So in their heart space, they know that, you know, they also may have done something with you. It looks as though, for some of you, this will not be everyone. But for some of you, this could be almost like, you know, Sex in the City, the movie, where, you know, Big doesn't, you know, he, he abandons Carrie at the last minute on the wedding day. I have goose pimples as I say that. That's obviously going to be for like maybe one person who could be watching this. But that would also say why, you know, your person thinks that you wouldn't give them another chance. So again, only for a few, but certainly for someone. All right, so... Let's get the energy here of the chariot card in their heart space. This person really wants you. They feel really guilty, though. The Ten of Wands is carrying the heavy burden of guilt about a truth or a lack thereof. I've heard crazy things. I had cl a client tell me one time that she'd been separated and hadn't seen her husband for 15 years, but had not ever bothered to file paperwork to get divorced. So that's probably another incarnation of this reading. Is it something is weird? They didn't tell you something. The Six of Swords says that your person feels as though you've moved on from them. In their heart space, they're trying to heal. They want to come back. They want to say, honey, I'm home. I do feel that for many of you, this is a relationship in which you are in separation, given the death card. All right. They see you, though, you know, as the one happily ever after. Why do they have this intention and desire to marry you? Well, they want to manifest you, but in their intentions, it looks like they didn't do the right thing. So, the you know, the Magician card is Gemini and Virgo energy. I'm sorry, this is Gemini energy. So what I'm seeing here is that your person may have been in a situation where they couldn't marry you. And so though they intend to marry you they haven't gotten there yet this is this is like several storylines so this is like a buffet table you don't toss the buffet table on the dishes you don't like or don't resonate you just take what's yours and leave the rest so i would say that this is a very complex reading okay so let's see why they again two soulmate cards in the minor arcana so why are they here? Three of coins. Three of coins. See, they want to work things out with you. Their intention is to work things out. And look at what flipped over in the deck as I was shuffling. 
we have, look at, there you are, Sag. So here we go. We have the Sagittarius Wheel of Fortune. The Tower card came down. Somebody released you. You know, you didn't intend. Wow, okay. And the Ace of Coins, see? Look at the Nine of Cups. This is crazy energy. Sagittarius, this is quite a story. I can't wait to see what you have to tell me about this story. As a reader, this is quite exceptional, quite unusual. But it shows that your person absolutely is shocked by their own intention, you know, to want you in this significant relationship. Eat, drink, and be merry. They feel like you're joyful, happily ever after. They want to make a significant offer. That is an engagement ring, you know, as a, that's the, the kind of significant offer they want to make is one for marriage. And yet, you know, we have judgment card and the tower card. So for some of you, I will say this. Again, so many storylines only take what's yours. This person could suddenly come into alignment and end another relationship so that they could come to you because they can't give you up. So take it as it resonates. Complex reading. You are their wish fulfillment. They have to get possibly a judgment of divorce or leave somebody. They might do so very suddenly. This energy can be vice versa all over the place, but I'm not seeing this as your energy at all, Sag. It's, it's unlike you almost. So I do think that you could be dealing with a Capricorn, an Aries, a Taurus, a Gemini, a Virgo, a Pisces, a Libra. It could be any sign, honestly. Sagittarius, this is you. They feel as though you might have player energy. So why do we have the five of wands here? Your person wants to stop competing with others. They want to stop the internal conflict and in their intention. They want to come through for you. They want to throw caution to the winds. They don't want you, they don't want any competition within the relationship, whether it's them intending it with you or you intending it with them. They don't want you dating around. They don't want to date around. Here we go, the devil card with the lover's card once again, again, so much, so much energy is, you know, this person wants to free themselves of the toxicity in the relationship. They want to come to you. They want to be with you. What has to end here? Please, Spirit, tell us what has to end. The three of swords. Okay, so we have, didn't we have, do we have the two of coins here anywhere? No, uh -uh, I'm not really getting that. So the Three of Swords says that some, some heartbreak has to end, that there has to be a rebirth to this relationship, that, you know, this heartbreak can be anything, though. It can be unrequited love. The Eight of Wands, they want so much to talk to you, to communicate with you. Sag, if this person did you dirty, you might have just cut them off completely. I see that energy here, too, for those of you who are like, oh, no, not in a million years. Mm-mm. They don't get another chance because their their energy is so intense and so sort of dramatic and sad. It's like a tragedy. I love tragedy happening here. The Ace of Wands. They want to throw caution to the winds. They want to live everyday life with you. What is holding them back? What's this Eight of Swords energy? Yep. They don't have a victory with you. The Eight of Swords says that they can't stand it, that they're trying to heal. It shows that they're absolutely over the top in their head. Again, a lot of remorse, regret, guilt, and we have, but for actions, this person wants a win. They're trying to figure out strategically what they're going to do. Five of Swords, they know that they really treated you badly. The Three of Cups is you're their best friend. So, Sag, that is quite a love story. So, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from.